Hi guys, it's Avery and long time no talk. Um, I haven't posted a video in two or three months and honestly even before that I wasn't posting very often um, and you know life happens. Um, since 2018 started I think uh, so much about me began to change and literally one thing after the other um, was happening in my life. It's been quite the year and I say that um, not for any kind of pity. Like I've had a good year. Um, it's been a roller coaster of emotions but I don't think I've ever been in a better headspace than I am right now so I think that it's been um, a lot but it's helped me get to where I am right now and um, yeah I just kind of wanted to sit down with you guys and talk and kind of share a little bit where I've been, what I've been doing, what I've been up to and um, where I'm at now and how I will be moving forward so um, if you've been watching me for a while I just want to say thank you so much I appreciate all of your support and I'm sorry that I've kind of been all over the place um, on this channel and if you are new here, hi, welcome. <laughs> um, I just want to say I love you all so much. And thank you for taking the time to even watch this video and listen to me talk about I have not planned anything about what I'm going to say in this video. I just want to sit down and chat with y'all like y'all are my friends because y'all are my friends and it's like, you know, we're going out to hang out and catch up about life. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to be speaking straight from the heart and experience. Um, there's been... A lot of different big life changes that I'm not going to go into detail about because those are personal. And then one main thing um, that really has completely changed my life is the fact that I got in a car wreck. Um, you can tell by the title of this video. And if you follow me on social media, aka Instagram, because that's really the only social media I post on. Um, but yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. But I still haven't really sat down and explained anything or talked about it. And not that I feel like I, I need to, but I definitely feel like I want to share my experience with y'all. One, to kind of explain why I haven't really been active. And then also to just kind of share my experience because I feel so passionate about what I've learned from it. I have made a blog post on my car wreck and I it's I just wrote nonstop from my heart. I didn't go back and edit it or take anything out. Um, that's up on my website, snazyavery.com. Um, I'll link it down below and you can go and read that if you um, are interested in reading that. I share a lot about what I've learned from this experience. I got in a car wreck September it's November now, so it's been over a month, it's been about two months, um, almost. Um, and yeah, I've been in a few wrecks before. I've gotten in fender benders and I've been hit from the side, but I've never been in, involved in a car wreck that uh, was this bad before. And honestly, the more I kind of talk to people about it, it's not... It's not the most common thing um, to get involved in a wreck that is this bad and it's really crazy to think about uh, me being in this kind of situation, you know, everyone never thinks that they're going to get involved in something like this and you just never know um, what your life is going to look like and, you know, one thing that's come out of this for me is realizing that our days are already numbered by the Lord it's important for us to live like live every day as if we don't know if we're going to see tomorrow and I know those are quotes and all this stuff but like I I always was just like yeah enjoy the moment but like no really like small details are important and I'll get into that but I kind of want to explain my wreck so I was driving up to see my boyfriend so I have a new boyfriend his name is Nick um I don't think I've ever clarified that on here we've been dating for about seven months now him he lives in Missouri and um it started a storm when I entered Oklahoma. So I live in Texas. You have to drive through Oklahoma to get to Missouri. And as I entered Oklahoma, this certain area in Oklahoma, it just started pouring. And I already was like, oh, this is bad. This weather looks bad. But like, I don't know. I always think that like, you know, just drive careful. Like you'll be fine. Um, but honestly, like when it's crazy rain and you're on some remote roads, I was in the middle of some mountains. Um, 
it's just, it's hard to control your car. Uh, if you run over, if you're going a certain speed and you go over um, a puddle of water, my car just hydroplaned and it started spinning. And um, yeah, I just completely lost control. I couldn't do anything about it. Luckily, nobody else was involved in my car wreck. I didn't hit anybody else. It was just me. Spun off the highway. I hit the side of a mountain. My car completely flipped over and landed upside down. I was awake for all of it. I didn't pass out. I remember all of it, but as time goes on, you know, details become fuzzy and honestly, it's for the best. It's It's been quite the mentally a uh, hard recovery process to get over, um, especially initially afterward. I just keep replaying the events in my head, but I was definitely terrified. I definitely thought that I was going to die. I thought, you know, if I don't die, I'm probably going to be seriously injured. Like, this is going to change my life forever. You know, I'm just spinning in my car. It's flipping and laying upside down, and um, I'm so thankful that I... I'm a smaller person, I say that because I was in a car upside down and I was able to unbuckle myself and get myself right side up. I was sitting in a, a squatting position because my car was smushed on the ground and I have a picture of my car now. I don't have a picture from the wreck. Um, luckily I think that's good. I think it would have freaked me and everyone that I left out to see my car um, flipped upside down in a storm, smoking and smushed. I have a car, I have a picture of my car right side up in a, um, like a wreckage yard. So it's not the same effect, but you can still see how smushed my car is. So I was upside down and I got, I was able to re get myself right side up in my car that was upside down. So I was like standing on my roof, squatted down. Um, and I just remember like looking around and there was so much glass everywhere. And, um, I was freaking some goldfish on this road trip and so there was goldfish scattered everywhere and um, my stuff was everywhere and I tried to call 911 my I, my adrenaline was pumping so hard at this point you know I had just gotten in a car wreck and I hadn't I was just like okay gotta get out of this situation I pulled I got my phone I found it I called 911 but I didn't have any service like I said I was in the middle of Nowhere in Oklahoma in the middle of some mountains and the service is not good, especially in this storm So I couldn't get a hold of anyone and that was terrifying. I tried to get out of my car and my Doors were stuck because my car was squished and so I couldn't pry my door open It was also like just super embedded in the mud and so I started to freak out a little bit um, I, I definitely kept my composure. My adrenaline was really high My airbags did not deploy uh, the side ones did, though there's like curtains that go down on your window. I don't, I didn't know those were a thing before my car wreck. Um, but yeah, there's like curtains that come down to protect you from the window. And I think that they definitely did. Um, my head hit the top of the ceiling when I landed upside down. But other than that, I was protected from the glass. And I think the fact that my front airbag that didn't employ actually protected me as well. Uh, obviously airbags, airbags are super important, important, but in my specific wreck, um, I never flung forward in that sense. Um, but yeah, so I like looked behind the curtain and I didn't see anyone around and that was, that was a very lonely and helpless feeling because I know there was a lot of people on the highway and I could hear the cars on the highway and I know that all these people had just seen my car. Um, flip upside down and I could smell that my car was smoking and I knew that was bad and I was like I know this looks bad why is nobody stopping for me you know if I was bleeding out if I was injured like it could have been so much worse um, and yeah no one stopped for me so that was terrifying um, but you know thank God that I am okay um, I had an angel watching over me. God was definitely protecting me in this in this wreck. Um, a lot of people do not walk away from a turnover accident like that. Um, I cannot believe how incredibly blessed I am. Um, I don't know how long I was in that car alone, but eventually someone stopped and came to 
rescue me. Um, this really sweet guy started yelling from outside my car and I yelled back and he was like, I can't open my door and he helped pry my back door open and helped me crawl out. He helped me get all my things out of my car. He waited with me in his car with his sweet mom outside of the rain for the ambulance to come. You know, they called him for me and it was still it took a while for the ambulance to come because we were so far away and his mom was a nurse and she was kind of helping me out and was able to call people to come get me. Never once did I think to take pictures of my car, um, which I think, like I said, I think it's for the best. But it was so surreal. Um, I got out of my car and turned around and just saw it smoking, smashed, upside down. You know, this car that I've had since I was 16. <laughs> I'm 21 now and you get attached to it kind of and it's just a weird feeling to look at that and be like, my car just protected me. I walked out and the guy was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, you can walk? Like, he was so surprised to see me get out of that car. And I still feel so overwhelmed when I think about it and talk about it because I bruised like a peach. And I didn't even get um, a bruise from this wreck. I mean, I was very sensitive in a lot of places. I was extremely sore. I still am working on some back pain right now, but... I didn't have a scratch. My ring on my finger that my boyfriend has given me, um, it was completely smashed flat. I don't know from what, like maybe I was squeezing the steering wheel that hard, that's what my mom said, but I don't know. It was completely smushed flat and my finger was fine. Um, I didn't even have a concussion. I, um, nothing. I didn't have anything wrong besides extreme soreness and some tenderness, like where my seatbelt line was. And you know, that's all things that I can handle. Um, I, I'm just, I can't believe it. Um, I'm so, so thankful to God for protecting me and all my loved ones are praying over me and sending out so many good well wishes. Um, going through something like this really makes you realize how many people in my life uh, care about me and I care about and how thankful I am for them and the moments that I get to spend with them and all the things that really matter to me and I kind of also realized how much social media has kind of taken over my life in the sense of um, you know before my wreck I don't know if y'all could tell in the videos that I was posting I was starting to change my content because I enjoyed filming like that but I also was posting a lot less and I was talking a lot about being kind of confused and not knowing where to go and all this stuff and it's because I I got too much in my head. Um, I started comparing myself too much even though I know I talk to y'all about not doing it. Um, it's hard sometimes to know truth and um, act on it. So I just got really in my head. I was comparing myself. I was feeling like everything I was doing was ugly. It wasn't proud of anything. Even though y'all are so sweet and always commenting the nicest things, it was hard for me to believe it for myself. On top of the big life events that were going on in my life before my wreck, um, like I said, since 2019 or since 2018 started, I just kind of realized how much I had let it consume me. Unintentionally, you know? Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with social media. I think it's how you go about it, it's your intentions, and it got to the point for me where it was about the wrong things. And whereas when I started, I wanted it to just be this place for me to, as an outlet, you know, to express my creativity. And I love taking pictures for Instagram, I love journaling, I love painting Bibles, um, I love talking with you guys, and you know, I took it to a point where I was burnt out on it. And I never want to do that. Um, so I've just been taking a really long break and after my wreck especially to just kind of reflect on what's important to me. Um, that was just one specific area of my life that I could think of because it relates to y'all. But there's been so many things. I've literally analyzed my entire life um, because of this wreck. Like, it's crazy. I could have died and everything up until that point would have been done, you know? Like... It, like, it's okay to be excited about the future and to make plans, but you need to realize that you may never get there or they may change. And so what's important is now, um, you know, God calls us to live every day, um, day by day. And it's so true to do that because th this is what's special is where we're at right now. And waking up in the morning and doing what is best for you that day, doing what God is calling you to do. 
and um, fulfilling the mission and serving others and loving others and enjoying your moments with each other. Um, I shared it in my blog post, but there have been specific moments since my wreck that I have just been embracing, like, for the first time, like, feeling an overwhelming feeling and tearing up, just looking around at the people that I love and being like, I'm so thankful for this moment. This is what we remember, like, why, why do we feel defined by how busy we are in life, you know? Busyness does not define success um, or happiness. And I was very much a busybody. I'm working on not being a busybody. I want to be productive with my time, but in a sense that is productive to me in my life and not just being busy for the sake of being busy because then that takes away from what really... Yeah, I could go on and talk about this for hours, but I don't want this to be a ridiculously long video because I know it's already going to be. Um, but yeah, that's my wreck. That's what I went through. And, um, you know, I... I was in Oklahoma alone, I went to the hospital and I was alone, it took my mom two hours to come to me, and it took my boyfriend eight, seven or eight hours to drive from Missouri, which it normally takes six hours, um, to even come see me, um, I had a bunch of phone calls, a bunch of messages, um, it still did not hit me what I went through until the middle of the night that night, I woke up freaking out, and I have never freaked out like that before. You know, the, re the reality and the weight of the wreck that I went through um, hit me. And, you know, I know that I am in a much better place in my life because I know that if I had gone through this, um, even just a year ago, I would have handled it so much differently. And while I, I say that, I don't all think I've been, like, super sad my whole life. That's not the case. Like, I've been fine. But now I am in a really good place with the Lord and... It's crazy to see how things can come at you, um, but he still holds you and sustains you and holds your hands and wants to walk you through it and gives you this sense of peace and calm from the fear. I mean, you still have to work through things and you still go through emotions. And You, you know, I'm not saying that like everything is perfect, but you are able to be okay when you go through intense things. And um, I want to take this experience and learn from it and grow from it and... You know, I've definitely been taking a lot of time just to chill and relax and not be um, all over social media or um, really just spend time with people that I love and myself. Um, it's really hard for me to just kind of sit and relax and not feel bad about it because like I said, I'm a busy body and I need to feel like I'm being productive. And So that's been really good and I encourage all of you to spend time to just kind of reflect on what's important to you and what you want to be important to you going forward. A little bit about where I've been. Thank you so much for listening if you made it to the end. Moving forward, um, I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't, I, I was going through my YouTube channel and um, I don't want to overthink it. I want to post what I feel passionate about posting, what I feel passionate about doing and I still passionate about journals. I think I took kind of a break from that as well, even before my wreck. Um, dove a little bit more into painting Bibles, and so I want to find a good balance of both. Um, I also want to be posting other things. I think I feel really passionate about a lot of stuff in life now, so if you are interested in me just talking about things, like, let me know. Let me know if you have any video requests. Um, I also have a lot of exciting things up ahead of me guys. I'm in my senior year, I'm going to graduate in May, I'm going to move, um, something very exciting is going to happen, I'm not going to tell y'all yet, but um, I have a lot going ahead of me and I want to be able to also share my life on here with y'all for those of you who care and you know I've done a little bit of that on this channel and you know they don't get as many views and that's fine. I really enjoy going back and watching them and so I want to be able to post those and not feel like I'm I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I want this channel to be a place that I'm posting f as an outlet and for y'all to enjoy and as well and for me to help y'all out in any kind of advice or um, creative way that I can. And so just let me know if you have any like questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, ideas, video requests, anything. I, I love connecting with you guys and I just feel so blessed to also have y'all in my life and this support because y'all really have been so sweet in every single comment section and I just got too much in my head, you know, and we're human and it's normal and it happens and it's okay. Um, but you do need to get to a point where you can be like, okay, how am I going to move forward in life? And I hope that doesn't take a big event like a car wreck for that to happen for you. Um, but yeah, um, 
it's crazy. It's crazy how God works. And I just want y'all to know that um, you're never, ever, ever alone. You never, ever need to feel bad about where you're at or where you're down. Like, I'm here for you. Um, I want you to know that God loves you. And I know you hear that and you're kind of like, okay, you can't see him. Um, and that's hard to have faith sometimes, especially in hard times. But I promise having a relationship with God will change your life for unbelievably better. I can't even explain it other than the fact that he is so good and I will would love to talk to you more about it if you're interested and um, need a direction and help to go. So always reach out to me if you need. Life is hard. You know you have good years, you have bad years, you have good seasons and you have bad seasons and that's okay. Um, but I'm really excited for 2019 to come. Um, but like I said, our days are numbered, and so it's really important to enjoy the moment that we're living in. And we're about to enter the holiday season, so that's always really, really exciting. And um, yeah, I also want to kind of make some holiday-themed videos, maybe. So yeah, I don't know. Just, yeah, that's my life. That's where I've been. And that's my thoughts on things. And um, like I said, I have a blog post if you're interested in reading that. Go follow my Instagram. I also post on there. But I can't wait to kind of get back into the swing of things in a completely different headspace. And yeah, I love you guys. And I will see you in my next video.